Hey guys, and uh, welcome to my new series uh, where we're going to explore RPA, Robotic Process Automation, and how you can use uh, use it uh, along with uh, a very popular to uh, tool called UiPath. Uh, UiPath will make your life a little bit easier, but before I talk about UiPath, I will first quickly talk about what RPA is. So. Uh, basically, RPA is a way to automate uh, repetitive tasks that we hate, that we all hate doing, me, you and your mother. <laughs> like uh, it could be filling out forms, copying data between application or sending the same email over and over again when you're onboarding new members uh, or new teammates for your team, for example. So instead of you doing th those things manually, you can now create robots or bots uh, that will do this for you. So these bots will follow simple rules and mimic like what you would do or what human does. They will click, they will type, they will drag files. Uh, they will all do everything that you would do, but uh, with uh, less time wasted and uh, without any errors, right? So what is UiPath? Well, UiPath is one of the most popular platforms when it comes to creating these bots. And the great thing with UiPath is you don't need to be a coding expert. It's like it's like a finished platform for you, low code, no code. It's good if you have some coding background because you can actually use programming to do more advanced things, but you don't need to have any programming skills to actually get started with uh, with UiPath. Uh, so yeah. Uh, in this video or in this new series, we're going to talk about uh, RPA and UiPath. And I'm going to try to keep the videos as short as possible and so they are easy, consumable and digestible. So, so it makes it simpler for you guys to actually navigate because usually my videos are quite long and uh, uh, they are a lot, uh, a lot of my videos are step by step. So I'm going to try to take, uh, make these videos a, a lot smaller and keep, uh, keep to the point, right? Uh, perfect. So let's get started, I suppose. So in order for us to actually start with UiPath, and again, UiPath is, is super good. Like you can do basic stuff with UiPath and you can do real advanced stuff with UiPath. And we're going to start with UiPath in this series and we're going to talk about more tools as we go on in this video. But the first thing we want to do, and uh, the title of this video will be how to install UiPath uh, on your computer is is installing UiPath. So the first thing you actually want to do is you want to navigate to uipath.com and then you want to press this uh, purple button up here, try UiPath for free. All right, sorry for that. I uh, I, uh, I got a call in the middle of everything. Anyways, to get started with UiPath, you press that orange little button and then you get to this page. From here, what you want to do is you want to go uh, and press this link. So get automation cloud for community. This is the one we're going to use. So you press that and what you need is uh, you need to put in an email and you need to put in a password. So we'll start with an email. And since I already have an account, I will create a new account. But uh, and the reason I create a new account is because, well, I want to do this installation uh, part from start. So we'll just do we'll just do let's do uh, robin.camo at one agency dot uh, se. And then you need a password. There we go. And then you just press create account. From here, what you want to do is you need to go to your mail and you need to enter the verification code. And I'm going to pause the recording uh, for this part. All right, so when you have the verification code, what you want to do is you want to put it in like here and then you just press continue. And then you will wait. And then you need a couple of things. The first thing you need to do is you need to put in your full name. So I'll just put in Robin uh, Camo. And then you need to put in your country and I'm in Sweden. Most of you guys will be from Sweden. So you just put in Sweden and then you can just skip this part if you don't want to get spammed uh, by emails. So we press next from here. And now you need to have a cloud organization name, kind of a, a your organization name. So you can put whatever you want here. What I usually do is I do, I do uh, first name, last name and org uh, like that. Keep it simple, right? And then we'll just press create organization. Now this will set up an organi organization with that within UiPath. And after we've done this part, we can actually go ahead and install UiPath to our computer. 
Now from here, what we want to do is we want to press this button over here. So download Studio Desktop. Now you could also do it from the web, but I prefer to have it on my computer. Uh, you have the both, both uh, the, the possibilities. But, but again, me personally, I prefer to have it on my computer and you should also have it on your computer. So we'll do this, download Studio Desktop. Now I've already downloaded it before, so I'm just going to press this link over here. So we're going to press that link and we're going to wait for it to actually start. Now it can take a couple of minutes for this to actually start depending on how fast your computer is. But after a minute or two, this uh, pop up will pop up <laughs> and then you will press uh, the quick one. You shouldn't use custom because we are not enterprise or advanced user at this point. We're just going to use uh, this one quick and then you go ahead and press I accept the terms and you press install. From here, it's going to take a couple of minutes. I'm going to pause the recording. All right. So after a couple of minutes, you will you will um, uh, get this uh, little prompt here. Now, which you need to press OK. But the problem is, if you press OK here, what 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 will happen is that your browser will close. So this video that you're currently watching will actually close when you press OK. So make sure that you either copy the URL to this video or just come back to this video after you press OK. So as soon as I press OK here, it's going to ask me to force close the Chrome. I will just press OK. And as you see, all the all my Chrome tabs uh, got closed. And the reason it does that is because it actually installs uh, some extensions on Google Chrome. These extensions we are going to use to actually control the browser like, we, like a puppeteer, right? So that's what you want to do. You want to uh, press OK and OK. And then when it's done, you want to press this, Launch UiPath Studio. After you've done that, we're going to wait a little bit. I'm going to show you a couple of settings that I recommend you guys to actually uh, do, right? So we're going to press sign in. Now it's going to open. We're going to we can just do open UI path. We're going to go back here. We're going to wait for this to load. And now, as you can see, it's going to log me in. And as you can see, UiPath Browser Automation 24.10 got added. And again, this is an extension for Chrome. Now, if you want to use Chrome for these RPA things, that's fine. You can also use Firefox and other things. And I will show you how to install them. But by default, Chrome will be used. Now, after you've done that, you will get this prompt. You will either use UiPath Studio or UiPath Studio X. Now, I always recommend uh, Studio. The reason I, why I recommend Studio is uh, it's actually two reasons. The first one, this is a lightweight version of UiPath. Uh, and the second reason is that uh, there's not that much documentation or tutorials online on UiPath Studio X. So if you have any issues, well, you're kind of fucked, right? So what you want to do is you want to use what, this one, UiPath Studio, and then it's, the life is going to be much easier for you. So just, just press UiPath Studio. And then from here, you can press enable extension and I can actually press restore. I will do it very soon. Uh, da -da 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 -da, open UiPath. And now we can go here. And now we are actually in UiPath. Now, feel free to watch this uh, tutorial if you want, like learn some stuff about UiPath. You don't have to because I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about UiPath from uh, fairly beginner level to a highly advanced level so in this series we're going to create an x amount of bots uh, I, I i find it kind of cringe to call them robots because well the, it's not a robot right and i think uh, uh, the name robotic process automation is it should just be process automation because that's what we're doing we're automating different kinds of processes so if you want to watch this uh, feel free to watch this now before we get started and before i actually end this video because this video the first video is only about how to install uipath i'm going to show you a couple of things that you want to do so before you get started you want to go down here to settings and you want to do a couple of things right so the first thing you want to do is you want to go let's see where was it uh, general let me just see where i can find it one moment uh, sorry sorry so the first thing you want to do is you want to actually go to tools 
and from here you want to press UI path extensions now per default Chrome and Edge is installed now if you're a Firefox user you want to press install here if you want to use any other kind of extension this is where you do it but in this video or in this series or this tutorial I'm going to use Chrome because Chrome is my weapon of choice if you are using another kind of browser well then you just have to set up your your thingamajiggy uh, to do it but to get the most out of this video or this series I would recommend you guys to also use Chrome it's again my my weapon of choice now what you also want to do after you've done this part is you want to go to settings and you want to go to design now there is something let's see if it's still here now if you have an older uh, older uh, version let's see if maybe they they removed it they did here so this one use c-sharp language some of you might have this on yes and some of you might have it on no if you don't have it if you have it on no it's going to use visual basic now visual basic is old as fuck but the reason why we're going to use visual basic instead of c-sharp because this is kind of a new feature and again there's not that much tutorials or or documentation or whatever to be found online using c-sharp uh, the majority of scripts or robo robots uh, written in UiPath are used uh, are written using uh, Visual Basic. So that's my recommendation to have. And if you've done all of this, now we're actually we're gonna go back to one moment. We're gonna go back here. We're going to go back to start. And that's kind of it for this video. Now, if you've done all of this, then you should have successfully installed uh, UiPath on your computer, and everything should work as intended. In the next video, we're going to actually create our first robot. We're going to talk about variables and we're going to talk about if else and some other things that are kind of useful when it comes to this uh, process automation. But that's it. If you enjoyed the video, guys, thumbs up. If you didn't, well, do a thumbs down. Otherwise, have a good one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.